right guys, finally, my long overdue quadruplets video. <laughs> so um, it's just such a task taking all my silicone babies out. So um, anyway, I'm, I'm glad to finally have this video for you guys. I wanted to show you the two sets of twins. Apologize for the shadow here, you guys, because I'm in the room. Um, it's the only place I can do this without the kids like <laughs> potentially getting into the babies. Um, so yeah, let me just introduce everybody from left to right. These are all portrait babies. I have basically two sets of twins, but then they are twins of each other. Like the limbs are actually the same um, between both sculpts. It's just the faces that are different, but they are all portrait babies of Audrey as a baby. Um, the Molina sculpt is of Audrey when she was asleep. And so these are the two, I'm sorry. And um, Aria here on the left, is my original prototype. And then we have Melina here on the right. You can see, the, oh gosh, this is so terrible. So sorry about the shadow, you guys. Um, so anyway, here they are, but they're so cute. <laughs> and then um, and then I move over here and I have my two Emery Mays by Andrea Arcello. So we have um, Olivia and she was adopted secondhand through Dolphin. Um, the lady, um, Maria, um, Jose Sue, who painted her, who, sorry, who rooted her. Look how amazing her rooted hair is. I really love how Maria rooted her hair. And then we also have Miss Isla. And Isla is just so special because she is the original prototype um, in the one that's in the photos. And she's just got this very, it's interesting. Like, I feel like she and, um, and Aria over here, Isla and Aria, have kind of a more similar complexion tone, kind of a little bit more pinky, whereas um, Melina and Olivia have sort of a, a more, I don't want to say peaches and cream, but it's a little bit of a smoother skin tone, a little bit less, um, less red, a little less um, blushing from that perspective. So, but they're all beautiful babies. So lucky <laughs> to have them all. Um, and I just adore, I just adore them. They are so sweet. <laughs> so, um, so that's it, you guys. Those are the quadruplets all together. It's, um, this is a long overdue video. I wanted to show them all together because I think you guys have been probably losing track of how many dolls I have. And also, some of you guys have been probably wondering, well, like, why do I have um, so many of the same sculpt? And, um, and I think I've just shared that, like, I just really fell in love with this particular version of Emery May as well as this particular Melina and I just really wanted to have them if I had probably had them originally um, and then had the chance to buy Aria or Isla I might not have gone for it um, although I do still really Isla ha there's just something about Isla she's just got the sweetest expression so I do still really really love her um, I love them all they're all like awesome babies. Um, and, and, and from a price perspective, um, they were, you know, they were, you know, more affordable. Um, even for my two prototype babies that I got, um, Andrea did give me a little bit of a discount since I was getting two dolls from her. And so, so that was really cool. And then, um, and then I bought these other, that then I bought Melina and Olivia secondhand. So, um, I got them for less than their retail price as well. So, so you guys might look at my collection and think, oh my gosh, she has so many silicone babies. Um, she must be like really wealthy and all that stuff. And I have gotten like some comments about that or whatever, but we're, we're not, I mean, we live in a small house. Um, you know, we choose to have, um, you know, to kind of keep our housing expenses more manageable. And then that gives us a little bit more discretionary income that we can use for like vacations and use for, um, some luxuries like my doll collecting. So it's just how we prioritize, um, in our family. So anyway, um, but yeah, but also four of these dolls, you know, are less than, you know, they're probably about the same price as, um, kind of some of the more higher end silicone dolls. So you can't always just judge it by price, um, at all, but yeah, but I love these four. They're so cute. <laughs> Let me go through again one more time. Okay. So we have Aria and Melina, Olivia and Isla. <laughs> 
right guys so um that's what i wanted to show you guys and you know what i might do i might just since i have these four out i might go ahead and just get the rest of my silicone babies out and show them all together and um and then i'll later on do like a reborn collection video once i get um my uh and i'll just split it up like that i, I liked how annie did did collection videos but she split it up between her reborns and silicone so they weren't all together in the same video um, all right guys well thank you so much for watching um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below and let me know do you have a favorite out of these four all right guys thank you so much take care bye